Hey guys, my name is Fuzzy Cop, and welcome back to episode 8 of Vault Hunters. Why is that trader always outside my base? So something big has happened. Well, several big things have happened in the last few days. I finally reached 100 subs. And while that is not amazing to any of the big content creators out there, for me, that's a huge milestone. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing and continue to watch my videos. It means an awful lot to me and I hope to make better videos in the future. Yes, I know I need to fix my sound. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this down here. So I was mining around here for vault crystals and stuff and I decided to start digging this way and then this way. And what I came across was a double spawner. There was a skeleton spawner over there and a zombie one there, I think. Thanks to Hellfire, I will put his link in the description and I will put his name up on the screen now. Thanks to watching his videos, I actually found out you can combine a wither skull and eight random mystery eggs and you can turn them into hostile mob eggs. So what I did was I turned it into, I turned all of my eggs and CWG's eggs may have lagged into my inventory. And we made a couple of hostile eggs and I got two guardian eggs. So I changed the spawners to guardian spawners. Now we do not ever, ever, ever have to go back to that stupid guardian farm ever again. So the other thing that I want to do is if you notice up in the top right hand corner, I have one unspent skill point. And many of you in my previous videos have told me I should take this guy here, Soul Hunter. So I'm going to do what you guys say, and I'm going to take Soul Hunter. And then I need to make a soul pouch, I believe it's called. Or soul pouch. There we go. One of these. So I need some purple, some ender pearls, and this and this. Okay, let me grab that. So let's craft that up. Oh, that was weird. So that means that now when I actually go into a vault and I kill a mob, it drops a soul shard, I think? A... These things, a soul shard. And you can actually buy things with soul shards. So, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to start to recycle my statues that I have. So now that I have an abundance of ancient debris, I can afford the seven ingots to make the statue cauldron. So let's get that made up. So I believe it's a cauldron and seven of these. Here we go. And do I have a bucket of water? Excuse me, sir. You're just making too much noise. So where are we going to put this? I know. Let's put it down in our new ore room. With our little sofas, too. Let's pop it over here. Throw some water into it. And we can throw all of our gifter statues that have been used up into it. And we should be quite far along there. Oh, 55%? Is that it? Seriously? Is that it? Now, the other thing that has also changed since I became level 25 is I've been getting vault gear in the vaults. And I did open the first five that I got in yesterday's vault. And it didn't do too badly, actually, to be honest. So I got this guy, which I love because there's a weakening effect around it. This one, meh. This one, meh. This one, meh. This one, eh. But this thing, this thing I was really interested in because if you look, it has almost five extra attack over my sword. I can enchant it, but the only problem is it's level 33 and I am level 26. Now I can use Wutak shards to make the level go down, but what I think I want to do is I'm going to do some more vaults and level up, and then I'm gonna save a little bit on Vutax shards, and who knows, I might actually get something better than the Vault Axe. Looks like I'll be running a lot of vaults. 
And in preparation for that, I got quite a few vault gems or vault crystals ready. So let's do this. Let's gain some levels and get some more vault gear and hopefully not die. I know I said it every episode, but every episode I think I'm gonna die. I'm really not very good at the vaults, but let's do this. Okay, I believe I have everything. Just played. Oh, no, I don't. I would have gone in without doing that. TWG put this up ages ago, and yeah, it actually helped a few of us to not do stupid things before we go into the vault. But yes, we have our chest plate. Yes, totem. Yes, more totems in there. Yeah, storage. Yes, pearls. I think I have pearls in there. Yeah, and I have ender. Food. Yes, and blocks. Yes. So we are all ready to run some vaults. Let's go. So what did we get? Oh, nice. That's going to be a very nice vault. Okay, let's actually concentrate on uh, looting. Hmm, not a whole lot here, but it is a villager room. Go away, Rob. Oh, nice. I like this room. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I really need to get the haste thing. Sewer entry. Ooh, that was a vault diamond. Not that. Nice. Two vault diamonds in this run. Nice. Did I get this guy? Yeah. That was lucky. No, not all of them. Nice. Oh, look at all these vault diamonds. Ooh, and a vault nugget. Oh, look who it is. The man, the myth himself. Sorry. Oh, I didn't loot this one either. See that one? Yeah, these villager rooms are like overpowered. Okay, let's find a way out. Okay, so this is where I need to go back out, so let's keep going this way. Another villager room? Oh, this is, this is good. I think I'm gonna run out of space to put stuff in. Okay. I am going to run out of room. Yeah, I'm totally gonna run out of room for stuff. What can I get rid of? There we go. Hey! Don't kill me. Me. Hard work, all this looting. Yeah, I think it's probably time to start heading back. Okay, no, don't be, okay, one more, one more, one. We go east. And we just run for our lives. 
Okay, is it this way? It's this way. Okay, that was possibly the best vault I have ever done. Like, ever. So, after putting all the non-good items away, this is what we are left with with that amazing run. We have tons of burger parts, lots of gems, we even have an, a vault helmet and it's Scrappy Plus. We have a Gifter statue and... Oh yeah, that's two. Is that the same? Space egg? No, Rusty. Anyway, we have more stuff. We got four Vault Diamonds, a Trader Core. This, yeah, this was an amazing, amazing run. So why don't we start off by opening these guys and see if they give us any relics. Oh, I see one relic. Just a one. But we have our first relic. Nice. The miner set. Well, let's put that in with our good stuff. And then this guy. Again, not the most amazing stuff, but it's it's something. Oh, and I almost forgot to open my helmet. Where did it go? Here. Let's open this up and see. Well, hope it gives us something good. Let's see. I think that is better. Yes, it is. But I am one level away from being able to wear it. Should I be really impatient or should I just run a few more bolts and see if I can get my level up and wear it? I think I'm going to be patient. I also realized I did something really stupid. I accidentally put my shard pouch into the shulker box so I wasn't even picking up shards half the time I was killing mobs. That is something I really have to be careful about because I'm just so used to throwing everything into the sugar box. So yeah, we definitely have to be aware of that. I can also make this, which is 26 burgers, but I don't want to use these yet. Because from what I have read, these, yeah, they only give you zero to three percent of your required experience. And at the moment, I think zero to three percent is like a tiny little sliver of this, which I could probably get from opening relic packs and stuff. So I think I'll leave them until later on when leveling up is going to be so much more difficult. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll keep them for a later time. Next to my cookies that I never got to eat. So now I am going to run a few more vaults off camera. If something interesting happens or if I get a really good vault, I will start recording and I'll show you guys, but I, yeah, I, I don't think running nine vaults in a row is going to be very interesting, especially with me running around like a headless chicken. But yeah, if anything does happen interesting wise, I will, I promise, I promise, I promise, I will record and let you guys see it. Otherwise, when you see me again, I may be another level higher. So I just brought you back, I've done a few bolts and we have finally got up to level 27, so now I can wear my Vaulty Mac Vault face. Don't I look cool? It actually looks like it has a mohawk. That's cool. So I'm going to continue doing more and more vaults and getting stronger because I think I'm lagging behind the rest of the guys. They're all like level 30 and stuff and they have tons of stuff and I have nothing. So I'm going to go until I feel like I am better -er 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 -er. Anywho, time to run more vaults. One eternity later. So we just got finished doing some co-op vaults with CWG and Code, and unfortunately I don't have any footage from it, but if you do notice, we now have shiny new vault boots. And also, somebody on CWG's str uh, stream uh, name them for me. So they are now Scrap Walker. And they're much better than the Netherite boots. But more importantly, actually, <clears throat> more importantly, we have more Vault Diamonds. We can make another Knowledge Star. So, without further ado, let us make another Knowledge Star. And now we have one more 
knowledge point. So let's num. And of course, we are just going to take one more of the decoration mod. And I think what I want to do is I want to take the decorator mod because it has quite a lot of mods in it. So there we go. And you can see now this is minus two, meaning Britannia is now 10 instead of 12. And eventually we'll get it down to six, which is still expensive, but Britannia is my favorite mod. So yeah, we're going for it. Unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I did a lot of runs. I actually upgraded myself quite a lot. So hopefully by next episode, I will be even stronger. So if you did like this episode, please like and subscribe. And I would like to ask you guys a favor. In the comments below, I would like you to type a question you would like to ask because next episode I would like to do some sort of a Q&A session for my 100 sub special. So in the comments below, type any question you would like to ask me and I will do my best to answer it if it's not like a really rude or personal question. So ask a question, but be nice. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.